Welcome to you. Hello, a very good evening to you. You're live on Facebook Live. And it's Scotty McClue. We are multi-streaming live on YouTube as well. Friday night, nothing gets past me. And a very, very warm welcome. Fantastic stuff. So there we are, multi-streaming. Wonderful Glenn Peacock, who was with us this morning at 10 o'clock sharp, says good evening. Welcome, Glenn. Good for you. Fantastic. Wonderful. Wonderful J-Dog Gaming, says Dinky Doo Scotty. How are you, J-Dog? That's fantastic. I know you'll have to dash off for dinner. It was great to have you with us. Julianne Scott and Brian Wilson have just joined us. Kareem has joined us as well. Hello, Scotty and everyone. How are you? The wonderful Gordon Roddick. What a top man, Gordon. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Always lovely to have Gordon with us. Wonderful man. Gordon Roddick, good evening, Scotty, and a very good evening to you, Gordon. Is your Skype working, Scotty, says Glenn. Well, Glenn, I've got a wee confession. I wasn't able to get my other piece of equipment working this afternoon, if you'll pardon the expression. And the Skype is now on another device. So there we are. Fantastic. Hello, Scotty. How are we, says Kareem, on Facebook Live as well. Fantastic. Wonderful stuff. So there we go. Dinky-doo, did the thunder waken you? It did, Betty. Yes, it's just waking me up this minute. <laughs> no, it was very loud. I heard it rumble, rumble, rumble. A bit of a rumble, the thunder, of course. At my age, you're not entirely sure what it is, so you do like to check. So there we are. Uh, hi, Scotty Dinky Doo, says the wonderful Brian Wilson. Susan Forrest watching in Lancashire. Welcome, Susan. We're multi-streaming, and we are, of course, live on Facebook and YouTube. Great to have everybody with us for a Friday night. So it's working then, Scotty. Well, no, Glenn, what I was explaining, my other device, I didn't manage to get working. So the Skype um, has... Uh, it's been uh, gobbled up, I'm afraid, by the other device. So there we are. So I don't know my Skype working tonight, unfortunately. Thomas Speed and Jim Higgins, get everybody up, Tam. We are multi-streaming, and we're live on both Facebook and YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one Come and join us, long shanks up you get. Sorry, Scotty, a bit earlier tonight. Got to dash for Din Din's. Love chili with cheesy nachos tonight. Au revoir. Au revoir, Monsieur Le Jedog Gaming. And uh, bon appetit. Enjoy your supper. And uh, if you get a chance, please to join us again. Come and join us again. That would be fantastic. Oui, ça va. Okay, no worries, Scotty. Sorry, Glenn. I know I'm going to have to have three pieces of equipment. Well, I've got three running, in fact, so I would need to four. But I don't know if that would put pressure on our um, on our links. So there we are. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. The links. Could you send me the links? You know, I wonder if throughout the world over the years, you know, somebody would maybe ring up a zoo and say, could you send me the links? <laughs> Good evening, a dinky-doo from Derbyshire, says the wonderful Tony Slater, watching down in beautiful, beautiful Derbyshire. What a stunning, stunning part of the world there. I don't know if you know a little village called Overhaddon. Oh, there we are, fantastic. Robert T. Kerr, Scotty, good evening to you, buddy. Good evening. Lovely to have you with us, Robert T. Kerr, our famous writer. Richie McCusker, Robert Rovers, John Jones. Good evening, Scotty. Terrible what's happened in Glasgow. Absolutely, John. Yes, indeed. Kevin Handels is watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Kevin. Good evening to Mrs. McClure and Johnson. Glenn, thank you very much. I'll shout down to Mrs. McClure. I don't, uh, Johnson had a word this afternoon and asked if I could perhaps ring for him rather than roar at him during the show. I said I would ask the viewers what they thought about that. <coughs> so there we are. Now then, can you discuss the latest atrocities in Glasgow? Well, certainly, Betty, I think if we mention in a respectful way, which you are always a respectful person, then of course we can. So there we are. So do let me know what you think. It's just 
terrible stuff it really is shocking so there we are and uh, oh my goodness me yes absolutely yes dreadful 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 uh, Kareem, Scotty, a wee question. Why is there bigotry between Catholics and Protestants when they are both Christian? Thank you, Kareem. What a wonderful, wonderful question. See, if you ask somebody what religion is the Pope, they will always say Catholic. You say, no, he's a Christian. And I think we've touched on this one night. You say, no, he's a Christian. And... Uh, Catholicism, that is just one part of Christianity. Protestantism, those after the Reformation who protested, yes. So you've got these two different parts of one of the world's great religions. Now, religion has never, ever, ever caused a problem in the world. What causes the problem is a lack of knowledge and a lack of understanding. So there we are. And of course, it's been encouraged over the years politically. And it needs to now be discouraged. Because the only difference is a tiny belief. And the Catholic believes that the body and the blood of Christ, the host and the wine, are actually they transubstantiate within you to become the body and the blood of Christ. And the protestant feels that the elements are symbolic, the red and the wine are symbolic. And therefore they have differences sitting at the Lord's table. But hardly so it makes any great difference at all. And the protestant also feels that there is an intercessor in the Vatican and they should be directly in touch with their Lord and Master. So these are the only differences. It's been obviously uh, built up through football as well. Um, there we are. Give Mrs. McClure a shout out. Darling, Glenn says hello. No, Glenn. Yes, that's it. Yorkshire lad. Aye. I'll tell them, love. There we are. She says, hello, Glenn. Mrs. McClue says, hello. Would you say ignorance is the problem of the two religions, Scotty? Ah, total ignorance. Yes. You'll even find that when there is bigotry, they don't really have much religious knowledge at all. So they don't know why they're argy-barging. So that's exactly what's on. Ralph Monk. Hey, man. You got any Fabergé eggs? So there we are. Uh, yes, Ralph. If I had Fabergé eggs, then I would be uh, I would be tapping your dollar bill. I'll tell you that. Fantastic. The Fabergé egg, very beautiful. Would you say ignorance? Yes, definitely the problem. Absolutely, without a shadow of doubt. So there we are. Now, um, it's a question of. The answer is yes. I mean, do feel that you can uh, you can discuss what's happened tonight in Glasgow. So there we are. And uh, obviously there will be updates at, uh, uh, you know, as and when we can find out what we actually know. Uh, so there we are. Yes, so that's your problems. A very, very good evening to you, Dinky Do, if you've just joined us. Hello, Scott, this is the wonderful Nicola Tom. Uh, so there we are. I'm thinking of a goat meat curry tonight. Finlay, yes. I'm not big on that, to be honest, so I wouldn't be having it. Excellent question, Kareem, says Robert T. Kerr. Very, very good question from Kareem there. And uh, if anybody's got anything they would like to say, do please. Um, I chicken tikka masala and chips for tea, says Glenn. Now, Glenn, that sounds very, very good. I like the sound of that. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're doing podcast number 34 and we're doing it live we're live streaming of course on facebook and simultaneously on youtube as well uh, so hello nicola lovely to have you with us so there we are police have ruled out terrorism says robert so there we are listening from the whiskey capital of scotland 
says Angela Brown. Oh, Angela, are you on the whiskey trail? Erin says hello, Erin Foy, welcome. John Jones, Dinky Doo, Peter Durrant. Welcome, 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 Angela Brown. Um, John, absolutely horrible what's happened in Glasgow. Nowhere is safe now. Glasgow's always, well, not always been regarded as a safe city because, I mean, Glasgow has had its share of violence over the years, but uh, it's been regarded recently as a very safe place to be. Big Michael, Mel, Susie, and myself say hello, lovely night. And Dinky Doo says the wonderful Robert Lang. Dinky Doo, Robert. I also had a fish cake butty for my dinner from the chippy. It was lush. Evening, Scotty, it's his nemesis. Fish cakes are very nice. No, oh, my goodness me. No, oh, my goodness me. So there we are. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Kareem, that's very kind of you. Kareem has popped a pound into the dollar bill. We will have more of a look as time goes on, guys. And uh, we'll find out and see what is what. See if I can catch up to date. But the police have ruled out terrorism in Glasgow. Kareem, thank you for that. Kareem's very kind. And he's just popped a pound in. There are religions interpret the scriptures. That's why there's so many of them. Absolutely, Betty, you wise woman. So there we are. Hoping for a downpour over the weekend. Keep the Egypts away from the beaches. Hi, McGinty McGuinness. This is Thomas Pidden. Big Michael, Mel, Susie, Dinky Doo, Robert, lovely to have you with us. After watching a documentary about sectarianism, a historian stated Northern Irish shipbuilders came to Glasgow and brainwashed other Protestants about hating Catholics and the IRA. That is true. They came over from Belfast and people were worried about them taking their jobs. All that was put out. A lot of myths and disinformation. I have never had any sectarianism in me in my life, and I would not entertain it. Legend says Thomas Speed and Dinky do Tam. Shout out for uh, DC Amero. He plays rockability and skiffle music. Rockabilly. And skiffle music, the skiffle rum, pum, 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 dee, 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 dee. Scotty, I was brought up Catholic, my father's Muslim. I am now atheist, as we have spoken about that before in the past. Yes, but I still believe in a power superior to mankind, Kareem. I would not like to think that any of the world leaders today were the ultimate power. Tut, 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 tut. Scotty, when I have my laptop on at night, the one thing that annoys me is the dreaded moths. How do I get rid of them? I know, Glenn. Yes, because I know that a moth went into the doctor and the doctor said, what can I do for you? And he said, um, well, nothing really, because the doctor said, we don't really, you know, see moths here. And he said, what brought you into my surgery? He said, well, just your light was on, that sort of thing. Fast Pat out of a wee Mars bar. So Fast Pat must be on the bell. Chris Voch is watching Chris Voss. Dinky Do. Chris Voss, who I remember very well. What a top man. Lovely to have you with us, Chris. Fast Pat is Fast Pat going out. Wait till we see what's going on. Oh, here we go. Uh, hello, it's Fast Pat from the Plains and a lovely meal from Tony's tonight. Then bought myself a lovely wee snack. From the top shop. Fast Pat, I am so glad you're looking after your nutrition during this lockdown because you're working very hard. And uh, if you're taking out an Atkinson's with a crash gearbox and a Gardner diesel, you must keep up your strength, Fast Pat. Have you got the big, have you got the big jukes? So there you are, have you got the big jukes? Uh, Fast Pat, we'll have a wee Mars bar. That's the wonderful Kareem. Fantastic. Lovely to have you all with us, guys. Thank you, Stephen Watts watching. Jamie Gilmer, get tuned in. Wonderful stuff. Come on to YouTube, everybody. How are you? Says Dr. Joseph Bryan. Joseph, we are fine. Thank you for joining us. Lovely to have you with us. Please don't think I was questioning your doctorism last night. I was just checking if you were an allopathic doctor, a doctor of medicine, or if you were a doctor of physics or whatever. Hate when it goes dark because I know they are coming, the moths. 
keep your windies shut. That's the best way, the, the moth. Two great aircraft. Anybody remember the tiger moth and the pus moth? Or the puss moth? Was it puss or pus? Paul Crookshanks, Danny McGonagall, Jeremy Wolfson, all watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us live, guys. We're live on a Friday night. Isn't this wonderful? So there we are. Tremendous. Lovely to have you with us. And we're over on YouTube. If you want to come and join us on YouTube, there are youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one Robert Rovers. So there you are. What do you call a man with large feet who keeps cats? Are we ready? What do you call a man with large feet who keeps cats? Big Shuey Douglas. <laughs> I remember Grandad Mac, says Tony Anthony has joined us. I remember Grandad Mac telling me in the past there were signs of shop windows saying Catholics need not apply for job vacancies. Surely we've moved on from sectarianism. We should have done. We should be well on from it. But provided you've got that, people saying, you know, oh, no, I don't in for that, don't like them. Uh, it's the same idea. Do you see what I mean? Oh! Comfort break. Whew. It just caught up with me there. Red hot in the studio tonight. Last night was the hottest though. Uh, Dr. Joseph says, did you hear the thunderstorms last night? And also happy birthday. Dr. Joseph, thank you very much. What part of the world, in, wh in which part of the world do you reside? Do tell. Kareem, in my next visit, I'll pick up a Mars bar for you as fast pat. Scotty, Nigel on Nigel F, yes, got you, on his Facebook stated that the hotel in Glasgow was hosting illegal immigrants. I don't believe this. He's stirring up trouble regarding this down south in Dover. I know I've heard him at it, actually, Kareem. I thoroughly disapprove of that. So there we are, because there are very, very few illegal immigrants. You can see people coming a mile off in dinghies. There are not that many. They are taken into custody as soon as they arrive. And my feeling is they should be processed properly and, if possible, legalized and given work to do. So there we are contributing. Was like us the answer? Fine, you can. Alistair Campbell, lovely to have you with us, Dinky Do. Hello, Scotty, says the wonderful Mo. Betty McIver, the introduction of power steering must have made your shift less tiring. But I must tell you a wee story, and Fast Pat will back me up here. When drivers first took over the big new modern trucks, Betty, they were used to steering these huge big old beasts, which if the steering was well maintained, you know, you, you, you got going. And you, they all had big... Great big forearms and big arm muscles, the drivers these days. Do you remember the Atkinsons? Uh, I was going to go to my local for a pint, but the sight of a quiet night in, says Nicola Tom. I think you should, Nicola, come in and join us here. Jim Thompson, Jim Gallagher, Hugh Beatty. Fantastic. We, Pat, got stuck in Glasgow tonight. Marky had to go and pick him up. Well done, Marky. Thanks for letting us know, Tam. Calvin Allen, thank you, do. So there we are. Um, now, thanks, Fast Pat. Wonderful stuff. Um, a Mars bar with milk. Oh, wonderful. That's what we like. Yes, so the power steering. So what was happening, Betty, was they gave it too much oversteer, and sometimes they even couped the, the rig. Is that not right, Fast Pat? Were there not incidences of that? My granddad was disowned by his family for marrying an Irish Catholic girl, being from a Protestant family. My granddad married my granny because he loved her and not for her being Catholic. So proud of him. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Scotty, you're looking very dapper today. Mo, we try and tidy ourselves up for our public, for the viewers. And it's a mark of respect for who I'm seeing. And I'm seeing all of you. Dinky too. Uh, Scotty, just still give us a wee tune. I've got my acoustic guitar at the ready. With a name like the one I've got, I should have. Absolutely, Brian. You should indeed. So there we are. Scotty, 
Um, Alan Carr's brought back the revamp of classic game shows like Strike It, Rich, Play Your Cards Right, Bullseye, Price is Right, Take Your Pick. What do you reckon? Uh, do you think it's a good idea? Glenn, like all these things on television and radio, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. So there we are. You know, we've got to prove that these are winners. Scotty, you know I have dogs, but also fish and budgies. Have you ever had any birds, Scotty? And what kind? No, I haven't, but a, a lady used to ring me who had a cockatoo and um, also uh, a cockatiel, and you could hear them in the background. And uh, if you ever go to the circus, one of the finest acts I've ever seen is the great Norman Barrett, MBE with his budgies. Oh, wonderful. It's tremendous. And he puts up tiny little seesaws and the budgies hop on. Wonderful act. Tremendous. Been going for years. Hello, pals of the wonderful Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Tom and Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, everybody. David Jones, Danny McNeil. Fantastic. Wonderful. Jim Thompson's watching. Jim Gallagher. Terrific. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for coming and joining us. You can also join us over on YouTube. We are live and dinky do. I say, tremendous. Now then, Scotty, am I on the trusted list? Mo, you are on the trusted list. But um, no, no, no. I just don't have it. Is that Mo from, wait till we see Johnston? Paisley, Kilmacomb, something like that. Um, you are on the trusted list, but I don't have the Skype fired up tonight because the other device has got it. We're over on uh, on Facebook Live. Dinky do everybody. And welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so proud of all this. There, that's better, isn't it? I'm a bit large on Facebook Live. Uh, check it out, Scotty McClue's Facebook, if you can multitask. So Glenn says, so basically what you're saying... Guys, can I have more likes and subscribes, please? Everybody liking and have you subscribed. I get heartbroken because my subscriptions aren't moving up. And we need people subscribing. So there we go. So more yes, you're on the trusted list, but I don't have the Skype working. Can I have a shout out for the legend Marky Higgins? He came and picked me up tonight in Glasgow due to a flat tire. And with everything going on, he was making sure I was safe. Marky, thank you. From Fast Pat. Fast Pat, of course. You can have a shout out to Marky. What a lovely guy. So basically, what you're saying is if the viewing figures are successful, then that will be the deciding factor from the top bosses. I should think so, Glenn. And television take complaints quite seriously. Hold on. Oh. You see, my boss in radio never ever ever let me know about any complaints and i'm sure there were plenty but none of them ever were upheld one tiny one which was definitely misconstrued there's no doubt about it scotty i heard you're going to be in a in a film uh right there we are i don't know what that sort of film is so uh what we'll do is you can tell us more about it there we are take that out now i'll look it up and i'll come back to you joseph Thank you, Scotty. Apparently going to play Dr. Octopus. So <laughs> yes, well, at the moment, it's, uh, it's just tentacly. It's, it's tentacly at the moment. You know, we'll find out what happens. More, 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 more likes, please. Everybody liking the stream. Fantastic. Good evening. A very warm welcome. Aston McLean, David McMillan, John Warrender, and Billy Hunter, Edward McAleer. Hi, Scotty. I'm the trucker. There we are. Just back from Furlough. Hoping you'll get my right arm tanned. Great show, Edward McAleer. What a top man you are, dinky do, and welcome. Everybody coming on. Fantastic. We love it. So there we are. Sorry, I thought I heard, says uh, Dr. Joseph. Ah, yes. No, no, you may well have heard. There are plenty of rumors about McClue with film parts and even bringing out the movie, McClue the movie. Would anybody go and see McClue the movie? Do ask. So there you are. Do tell. Do ask and do tell. So warm tonight. What has happened? 
I ask you. And I bring you through gallons of water. So there we are. No, not at all, Dr. Joseph. There you are. You would be amazed what does the rounds. Welcome, welcome, welcome. More likes, guys. Everybody go down and like the stream, please. Everybody. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Welcome. Scotty, enjoyed the wee tune you played the other night. Was wondering why you chose the button box. Was it for the richer sound or Shand McLeod or the daddy of them all was Will Starr? Well, Will Starr was actually the daddy of them all in so many ways, but Shand, to me, was the father of Scottish country dance music as we know it, you know, just because of his beautiful strict tempo playing, you know, liked and shared. Uh, so there we are. I made BB9E. Dr. Joseph, how fantastic. So there we are. Very, very interesting. We'll look into all this, of course, and come back to you. Uh, oh, fantastic. Everybody's joining us here. This is amazing. Uh, so Aston McLean's there. David McMillan, Gordon Maine is watching. John Grimley. Go, Scotty. Love the show. Dinky do, John. Lovely to have you with us. Remember the 60s when you went to the dancing, you asked them, what school did you go to? Yes, I know. I actually saw that in an advert for a job in radio in Northern Ireland. It said, what is your religion? I don't know if it's legal to ask that. What is your religion? And it said, if you do not wish to answer this question, please put down what primary school you attended. You know? Dear, oh dear, oh dearie, dearie, dearie me. So there we are. Absolutely. Good evening, good people. Grady, dinky do. I remember somebody telling me that it was a medical form, I think, that this girl was to fill in. And they pointed to the question, what is your religion? I think this is so you can, if you're Catholic, you can call for a priest if somebody's an extremist. And they may be on their way to the next part of their journey. Hello, Mo says Dr. Brian Dinky do. Uh, absolutely lovely to have you with us. Great to have everybody on here. This is amazing. M. Handman Bruce, nice to see you. Nice. Nice to see you. Scott Grant, John McSherry, Dinky do from Scotty McClue. And all of not just one nation, all nations. Thumbs up, please. Like, 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 you like. Scotty, I'll pop the kettle on. What do you take, Kareem? I would love a big mug of tea with a splash of milk, if you can. A splash of milk, because it's going to be a very, very busy night. Oh, that's fantastic. I maybe have to run down for another refreshment. So there we go. What do you personally think, says Glenn? You can't beat the original host. From the original Bruce Forsyth, there's a corner on Jim Bowen. Michael Barrymore, my favourite, was Bullseye, Jim Bowen. I agree with you. I don't think you can beat the original host. I think it's lazy for commissioning editors to go back to the same format and the same title, even lazier. So I think they should have new ideas, like Scotty McClue live on television for one hour, Taking calls, reading out your texts, talking to you. Terrible events in Glasgow City Centre today. Glasgow's always very resilient and strong city. Absolutely, Tony. I think it will be a very good, interesting night, Scotty Kareem. It's always interesting on here. We have never, ever, ever had a dull night. And Scotty McClue has never, ever done a duff show in 28 years this Monday. Oh, Share, pal. Everybody sharing. Share, share, share it to share. Share, 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 share. Oh, my goodness me. I'm just keeping up to date with what's happening, guys. So there you go. And, um, yes, police are not looking for anybody else in relation to the incident. So there we are. That's confirmed. And, of course, you told me here. The Dear Green Place, says Alistair Campbell. Yes, but what? I don't understand. Scotty, should I stop watching that trash then? The only program that I would highly recommend that everybody watch is Scotty Recluse live on YouTube and Facebook. 
That's the only program that we need. And that's the program. This is the future of television. I might not be the springiest of spring chickens, but that doesn't matter. The Scotty McClue show is where it's at because it involves real people. And there's nothing lazy about it. You see, James Millwood, dinky do, it requires commitment from the viewers and from the presenter. There you are now. You have it straight. Woo! Would you watch these programs if Scotty McClue was the host? I'll second that, says Alistair Campbell. Thank you, Alistair. Did you do this is the future of television, guys? So live with it. Suck it up. Yes, fantastic. There you go. Unless you start in something on TV, you will let us know then, Scotty. Yes, but I mean, this is starting on TV. What is television except a massive program of talking heads, the most successful interviews, right, programs. We used to run home on a Saturday night to see Parkinson. And I think television has passed its zenith. It's used the viewer for too long. You know, come on here to YouTube. Scotty McClure, we are the future, dinky-doo. We are the future. Johnson, a towel, please, a cool towel and a cool drink. Grady Beckel, thank you very much. Grady has joined us from Canada, folks. Welcome, welcome, Grady. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue. Everybody say good evening to Grady, our boy in Canada. There we are. Alistair Campbell, the dear green place, Glasgow. The fish that never swam, the bell that never rang. What's the background to that? You know, can we have some more information, please? Fantastic. Grady, you're quite right. It is roasting tonight in the studio. Last night was the hottest yet, but tonight, just amazing. Yes, and I didn't take any more off. Otherwise, i lose my viewers. <laughs> Everybody would do one. Oh! So there we go. Fantastic. Annie Donald's watching Dinky New Annie. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I see. We're live, big style on Facebook, and we're also streaming on YouTube, live, right now. Yes, Scott McClure's YouTube channel, Dinky Do. Get sharing. The bud that never bloomed, Grady Beckel. Yes, the fish that never swam, and the belt never rang. This was the motto of Glasgow, because if you look at Glasgow's coat of arms, it's a fish and a bell. They're very, very interesting. Yes, the bud that never bloomed, Grady. Mm. Kareem, Scotty, I've committed the greatest sin of all. I've made a wee cuppa, but put the tea bag and milk in first with a sweater and then added water when boiled. Is that a sweetener rather than a sweater? <laughs> I've never had a sweater in my tea. I've had a bit of tea in my sweater. But I've taken too much to do your front. Was it like the preaching of the word? Ah, Betty MacIver, you may well be on to something here. The fish, the book, the bell. Do you remember who killed Cock Robin? Do you remember that? The, the bell and the book. Yes, very interesting. Of course, the bell is used in mass. There were, what does the bell in mass signify? There we go. Uh, Brian Wilson, the TV writers, must be devoid of ideas of the resorting to old-fashioned ideas. Well, of course they are, Brian, because when Scotty McClue phones them up, they go, it would have to be a no, Scotty, because live television frightens them, and it shouldn't. Susie and Mel, we're away for the kebabs of Robert Lang. Could you give them a shout-out, Scotty? Susie and Mel, who are going for kebabs, a big shout-out. From Scotty McClue. Robert Lang, dinky do, how's that? That was pretty that was pretty cool. That was quality, wasn't it? That was quality. Hello, Scotty, dinky do, how are you this evening? Anderson, the better for hearing from you. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Welcome to Scotty McClue's Friday night. There we are. Guys, remember we'll give this up, of course, after lockdown, or if you've had enough, not a problem. It's just lovely to bring everybody together from throughout the world. That's what it's about. Whoo-wee! Oh, that'll have to go in the wash. 
I can tell you that. <laughs> Hello, Scotty, dinky do. Anthony says, I've never understood why someone's religion should matter. As my Irish Catholic granny said, we must respect everyone's beliefs. We can still be friends with people of other faiths. Do you agree? Well, you see, it's not another faith when it's Catholic and Protestant. It's another denomination of Christianity. So Catholics and Protestants are of exactly, exactly the same religion. There we are. And I doubt a footballer could tell you the difference. And so there we are. I didn't manage BB9E's programming language not to autocorrect. That's why he thought it was Lobster Mary and not Robster Mary. So there we are. The world is your lobster, as people say when you're growing up. Yes, yes, the world is your lobster. Sorry, it's the world is your oysters. <laughs> See what I just did there? Can I get a shout out for Scott Temperley? So there we are, fantastic. No, we can't say that, Thomas. So I'll have to take that comment out. Thomas, I've warned you before about that. You know not to make these comments. So there we go. Wonderful. And um, TV writers must be devoid of ideas. Thomas, remember you find it funny, but other people might not. You know, that's, that's the whole thing. So there we are. So we're back to Susan Mellowy for the kebabs. Back to Thomas's comment out. Um, I'm happy tuning into this stream. Well, Anderson, I think so many people are happy tuning into the stream. Scotty McClure streaming live on YouTube. It doesn't pretend to be anything else. So there we are. That's it in a nutshell. Daniel Harrison, dinky do. Yes, quite right, Danny. There we are. Fantastic. Daniel, I've told you that before. Scotty, when will the decision be made and by whom when you decide to stop doing these podcasts? Please keep doing them regardless of lockdown. Glenn, we will decide, you and I, when you've had enough. The people will say, no, nah, I'm not watching any more of that. Uh, but the ones that go, oh, it's the same all the time. It's not the same. Oh, it's the same people. Not the same people. Always new people, always different people. And the people who are regulars on here are clever, interesting, intellectual people. That's the interesting thing. That's the difference. So there we are. So we'll decide when to chuck it. But, you know, I might have to, you know, my workload may well increase after lockdown and I might have to just do one. So there we are. But no, Glenn, I mean, these are these are fantastic, these live streams. Uh, living like Larry, says Dr. Joseph Bryan. Now, who was Larry Joseph? As happy as Larry, he's as happy as Larry up there. As you've said, we've all come from Ireland. My grandfather came from Coleraine. I remember sailing the Broomalaw overnight sail. Absolutely. Now, Tony, I'm not pulling you up here, but let me explain to you. Your post here, <coughs> pardon me, don't worry about the cough, had it for 20 years. I've never understood why someone's religion should matter. As my Irish Catholic granny said. Do you see what I mean? So you've labelled granny by calling her Irish and Catholic, as my granny would say. And once people start doing that, you will see um, a massive drop in disrespect for other people. So it's, when, see, it's a bit like last week, uh, the last two weeks when Aaron said Black Lives Matter, that in itself could be construed as being racist because it's implying that all other colours of lives don't matter. You see? Now that's not what it's meant, but that's what it construes. So we put in the differences yourself. So by using Irish Catholic Granny, you're labelling, this is not me getting at you, I'm just explaining, you're labelling your grandmother. Yes? saying she was an Irish Catholic grandmother. Now she was, but you're popping the labels on. You see what I mean? No, Scotty, didn't you do? How are you this evening? One of the reasons that I'm not live on the biggest radio station in the UK tonight is because they can't label Scotty McClue. How do you label it? Is it comedy? Is it politics? Is it serious? Is it music? Is it drama? Is it talk? 
what actually is Scotty McClue? And my answer is, Scotty McClue is Scotty McClue. There you go. That's what you get. I'm happy tuning into the stream. Larry the Lobster's cool. Absolutely, Scotty. Uh, oh, yes, the decision. Yes, no, not at all. Am I an intellectual? Uh, we'll get you there, Daniel. We'll work with you. You say some silly things at the moment. You're operating at quite a low level on here, but we will raise your game for you. And uh, you might become an intellectual. How about that? Woo! Woo! <laughs> How many comfort breaks? How many comfort breaks can you have? Uh, what was your father's name? I saw the photo of him. Very good. Daniel, that's Big Archie. Scotty, there's different things going on in our lives to keep it going for now. Don't you agree? Um, absolutely. Yes, yes. Glenn, I've had superb. I don't want to, to, you know, bum myself up, blow my own trumpet. I don't want to become a blowhard. Um, but the feedback I get for the streams is huge people are loving it so there we are there will never be a stop to irish catholic discrimination in scotland it's right in society and institutionalized in workplaces throughout scotland still sadly in 2020 believe it or not thomas peden there will never be a stop as long as people talk about irish catholic discrimination right and stop talking about irish catholicism as if it's something that's new to scotland when, you know, it's, uh, what are we talking about? Minimum 150 years old. I mean, we were talking, one of the Fitzwilliams got sent back from Ireland in the 1500s for being too pro-Catholic. You see? So until we stop it ourselves, and, and Tom, I mean, you, you know, feel strongly about things as well. So still we stop the labelling, you know, uh, and until Catholics say that they, uh, un they, you know, they, they don't understand Protestantism or they think that they do understand Protestantism and until Protestants understand Catholicism, you know, that's the whole thing. I'll label you a good talk show host, Scotty. Brian Wilson, thank you. That is a wonderful label. I'll take it. <laughs> Even Scotty, you please ask Mirren Aitken to go to bed. Joseph, correct. Mirren, off you go to Bobo's. Daddy has spoken. Now, dinky do. <laughs> do you think you could get Mrs. McClure or Johnson to join the podcast? Have they ever done the chat? Oh, very shy. Johnson is very. Johnson would see it as not his place. And Mrs. McClure is just very shy. Wouldn't be fair. There we are. So, absolutely too many contradictions, says Grady. Yes. Evening, Scotty. Absolutely. Now, Tony, remember, I'm not getting at you there. I'm just pointing out life is not equal in humanity. Only justice can be brought. Uh, there we are. So that's from Dr. Joseph Argus. Yes, absolutely. Good for you. Understood. I wasn't meaning to label my granny. No, of course you weren't, because nobody said that for you weren't thinking labeling. But it comes out, and that's what we need to stop. We need to explain. Because I was proud of her, and to show that Catholics and Protestants can get on with each other. Yes, but let's stop labeling people Catholics and Protestants. Let's just talk about a member of the Christian church, a member of a Roman Catholic member of the Christian church. Because everybody is Catholic, you see? And everybody was Catholic up till the 1500s when you had the Reformation, but the reason for the Reformation was that Henry VIII had given it impetus by disobeying His Holiness the Pope and setting up a church for the purposes of adultery, you see, and to uh, annul a marriage you didn't want to be in. What well, if I said that silly, all I've done is ask genuine questions that I'm interested in, and you have for some reason gotten mad. Daniel, I've never gotten mad at all never gotten mad and you don't need to be defensive you haven't done anything wrong all i'm saying is we'll get you there you asked am i an intellectual and i'm going on some of your questions and saying we'll get you there okay so you don't need to be defensive evening scott you see everybody on here daniel is pro everyone else we're all one for one and all for all 
There's nothing to fight about. If you don't like the stream, you don't have to watch. If you like the stream, you watch. That's what we do. Uh, Scotty, please don't give this up after lockdown or do a few times a week. Everybody likes this. It's escapism, educational routine. Absolutely. And that's what good entertainment should be. Pure escapism. It's racism, not sectarianism. No, Thomas. No, no. Um, you can't have the Irish, yes, and the Scots and all these are all Celtic races. So they're all of the one race. So there we are, the human race. Stephen Vergemini, dinky do. So there we are. I label you. Yeah, we got that. Stephen Moody's watching. We'll, we love it. Fantastic. Catherine Allison has just joined us on Facebook Live. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. As life continues, the legacy of Donald Trump does not continue. So there we are. Right. Fantastic. Too many, uh, too many names now, Dr. Joseph. My work is next to all the chaos today. I know Thomas. You said to us, you're going to uh, the station there. Scary stuff, Thomas. I'm so glad you are safe and well. You don't exactly seem grateful for the people who watch you. Now, why? What What are you saying you don't exactly? You see, let's sort this out, Daniel, because we might not need you on here at all. So there. So Daniel has said, what have I said that is silly? Question mark. Very defensive, right? All I have done is ask genuine questions that I'm interested in. And you have, for some reason, gotten mad. Right, now, uh, does anybody remember Scotty McClue gotten mad on here? No. So, we know that's not true. Whew! Apart from the driven mad by the heat. Oh, yeah. Scotty, will you have a funny clip tonight? I will, Kareem, just to lighten the mood. Good evening, Scotty, is the Lee fly. So, what else? let's see what else have we got here. Yes. Oh, he's taking it down. There we are. Daniel, what's wrong? Talk to the group, says Karim. Yes. Was insanely fly, says Thomas. So Anthony says, I need to correct myself in my post last night. Dr. Gutman, the doctor at Stoke Mandeville Hospital, who helped injured soldiers coming back from the war, helped start the Paralympic Games. Fantastic, Tony. Yes, Dr. Gutman. Well, you said Gutenberg. Maybe your predictive text put him in. Gutenberg was the printer. He was a German, and he was printer of the first Bible. Now, I'm just saying when I say he was German, I'm just saying he was from Germany. I'm not labeling him or anything like that. So there we are. Daniel's gone, I think, has he? You don't exactly. What he said was, let's see, I think he's taking it down now. Yes, Daniel said you don't exactly seem grateful to those who are watching you. What does he mean by that? It's voluntary, you know. If somebody wants to go, they just need to tiptoe away. They don't, you know, it's, it's so strange. I think people are not used to having a free show that they can choose to watch or not. Catherine Allison, good evening, Scotty. Good evening to you, my dear. I had a shield on, so funny. I had a burger, forgot I had it on. Burger sauce in the shield. Ah, Derek Walker, yes. Come on, Scotty. Susie's managed a full donor. Surely she's a fatty. Boom, boom, says Robert Lang. Well, no, 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 no. If she's metabolizing the donor fine, then there she goes. Grady Beckle. No madness here, understand that. Scotty is a profoundly intellectual. Ways you may not predict or understand right away. He is anything but ungrateful. Absolutely, Grady. I am very grateful for my viewers. But if somebody comes on and has to ask for gratitude, Grady Beckel, you've just done a very generous thing. I've just seen that. Grady Beckel, guys, has put another five Canadian dollars and tapped i'm gonna i'm gonna get onto this grady i'm gonna find out what's going on here now so another five canadian dollars and um he's tapped the dollar bill at the top of the super chat dr brian says in a million years the earth will be different but chicken restaurants won't change so there we are right i think what we'll do dr joseph is just pop you off there we are dr joseph i think is a bit of a dafty guy so he's gone i don't think he's a doctor people don't understand take it or leave it anymore scotty they think 
It's turn up and have it changed to their liking. Ian429, you're absolutely correct. They want to see if they can gain a bit of control. It's passive aggressive behavior. And we don't do that on here. There's enough of that in the world. Yes. <laughs> of course, Scotty McClure has been very outrageous in his day with challenging questions. I was challenging society at the time 28 years ago. The world has moved on. Things are very tough. It's time for McClure to ensure that the powers that be are properly challenged and are looking after ordinary people. Yes. So you're absolutely right. People turn up and they demand. And that wee guy, so there, Thomas says, what did Dr. Brian Joseph Day? Now, what did he do? He was putting longer, longer names all the time, time. He's just been daft. So there we are. So people don't understand. Take it or leave it, says Ian 429. He's quite right, you see. So why does somebody get annoyed? What's this stream about? I don't like it. So well, off you go. Off you go. You don't have to watch. <laughs> it's very, very strange. So there we are. Uh, it was just being stupid, Thomas. You know, a waste of space, time and space. There we are. A complete waste. Uh, Scotty, folks, what have we got here? Blackpool opens on the 4th of July. Should I visit this summer or leave it for safety? Well, it'll probably be mobbed. I would have thought Karim Blackpool gets very mobbed. And my goodness, Blackpool can always do with their tourism industry because it's a tough place in the winter. I mean, they've always got things going on, but it's tough. You know what I mean? And the summer in Blackpool, gorgeous. I used to go every weekend, Karim. What about that? I stayed just along the road. I stayed about... 10 15 minutes from Blackpool, just up from the what was it, the M55. I saw a beautiful thing in Derry in Northern Ireland. There is a statue of a Catholic boy reaching out his hand to a Protestant boy. Growing up in the garbles, I experienced sectarianism. I hate it, of course, Anthony, but you see what you've said? I hate it. We need to get rid of the word hate. If we hate something, we're shutting off an avenue of learning. So there we are. So I have absolutely no barriers at all. Hello, Scotty. I'm back. J-Dog Gaming, you are more than welcome. How lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo, welcome back. You missed a couple of daft dates. Finley and Longshank said the show this morning was outstanding. Thomas, you missed an absolute belter of a show this morning absolute cracker i keep thinking each one's the best ever but in actual fact they just get better and better or they get different you know i mean look at it for goodness sake we just started having a muck about right and now we're on show 33 is this what we've got sorry 34 33 was this morning i i forgot 33. So there we are. Good evening. The weather isn't great in Dublin. Davy Levant. Dinky do send love to Dublin. McClure had a wonderful time at university, but would also have loved to have gone to Trinity College Dublin and studied Ireland. I remember stopping the car one day and I got out in a little town. I got out to check a memorial and it was to Gerard Manley Hopkins, the poet. Isn't that beautiful? I thought I'm standing in front and it said, God save Ireland. And I used to have a lady rang me in Sheffield. Wonderful. She knew Ireland inside out. And uh, she was Irish herself. And she said to me that, um, yes, Tony, so I dislike sectarianism. Well, any sensible person does. So there we go. And I think what we should do is Glasgow should bring an example and <clears throat> I should say, you can support Celtic or you can support Rangers, but they are no, they no longer have any religious affiliation. So there we go. Fantastic. They are two Glasgow football teams, but they no longer have any religious affiliation. I've said for years there should be one Glasgow football team, Glasgow United. That would be a belter. J Dog. <laughs> so everything's going fine here. Um, 
What have we got here? Lovely chili with cheesy nachos, says J Dog. Fantastic. Did they have different crosses round their necks? Lol. A hand up is a hand up. Well, funnily enough, Grady, it's very interesting that you've asked that because very often uh, the Catholic and the Protestant do have different crosses round their necks. So very often the Catholic will wear the crucifix with Christ crucified on the cross. And the Protestant will wear a plain cross because the Protestant is saying Christ has risen. He is no longer on the cross and uh, he dwells on, among us in his risen power. Very, very interesting. So Christ crucified or Christ risen. Interesting. Uh, what did you have, Kareem? Says J-Dog Gaming. He's talking. I love this. Kareem and J-Dog are discussing what they had for supper. Now, you see, that's fine on the stream, guys. There's no pressure on the stream. Why should there be? It's just lovely people getting together for a chit-chat. You know, that's all it is. So, are you and David related, Scotty? Says Thomas. David, which David? Uh, J Dog Nom Nom, I had chicken fajitas. Fajitas. Is it fajita or fajita? Fajitas. Mm -hmm. J Dog, stop winding him up now. There we are. Uh, are you and David related? So, which, which David are we talking about? I would go, Karim. I was there last Sunday. Everyone seems to be keeping their distance and respecting other space. The wonderful Susan Forrest has joined us from Lancashire. And Susan says she goes to Blackpool. Now, Karim, what other program could you join? Could you ask a question about Blackpool? And a lady who knows Blackpool inside out comes on to answer you. Woo! Are we not lucky? Who have I got here? Come on, Scotty. Uh, so there we are. Stephen Lipton, Jack Arthur. Hello, Scotty. Hope you're having a good evening. Fabulous evening tonight. And I hope everybody is happy uh, watching our streams. Uh, you are a Christian, Scotty. Yes, um, I am a universalist. I am very much a child of the universe. I have embraced the Christian faith. So there we are. Because I think you need to have a go-to place, you see. And I don't mind which that go-to place is, you know. And um, I have regularly attended uh, Mass. I have regularly attended Presbyterian services, uh, you know. So not a problem at all. Because, uh, you know, you should be, all religions should be able to uh, have massive tolerance of the others. So there we are. And Christians need to take note. Thank you, Susan. I might hire a house so I can go with the dogs. Kareem Zachariah, can I tell you a lovely Blackpool story about dogs? Somebody asked a Blackpool landlady. They said, could I bring my dogs? She said, of course. They said, this is wonderful because very often we're told no dogs. She said, I have owned this guest house for over 40 years. I have never had a dog tried to skip paying. I have never had a dog wet a bed. I have never had a dog be sick on my carpet. I have never had a dog tried to take things away after their weekend. Do you see? Are we see the pattern? Are we getting there? Fantastic. How do I come out, Scotty? I've always liked boys. I've never told anybody, says Adam. Adam, why have you never told anybody? So they are. Thomas Beaton says, David, right? No, 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 no. No, no, I see where you're coming from, Tom. No, absolutely not related. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Absolutely not related. No, no, I'm a McClue. Uh, sadly, to many, their football is their religion. Well, that's what I was going to tell you, Alistair. Uh, it was a girl was filling in a form, and it was religion, and they said, you don't have to put that. And she said, oh, no, I don't mind. I'm Rangers. You see, very, very strange. So people actually think it is their religion. Good step up, Thomas. And it's like if you sing one of the old football songs, and people say, you can't sing that. You say, this song was around years before. I once had a guy shout at me for 
playing oh when the saints and the piano he went hey hey no no football so this has nothing to do with football Saint Samaritans. no 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 this song was around long before football there you go fantastic hello i'm here now says a good pizza sup scotty lad says adam bruce nothing sup adam but lovely to have you with us you're sup yours up hello i'm here now says a good pizza well announced agreed religion's no place in football it was great to see glasgow football fans of both religious divides paying their respects to the late celtic player tommy bunce he was against sectarianism absolutely so was jock steen university of dublin has fantastic education i studied in child pregnancy and abortion i now work as a mid husband wonderful studies very powerful studying them in dublin uh, Thomas Bin, yes, my good sir. Dinky do, Scott here, says the wonderful Robster Mary. Dinky do, Robster. Uh, who have we got here? Hello from Airdrie, says Nicky McHugh. Hello, Scotty. John Gallagher, Willie Logan. Wonderful Willie Logan. Uh, Willie, we're over on YouTube if you want to join us. There we are. Everybody's sort of coming over to join us. Fantastic. Hey, Robbie, how's it hanging, says Adam. Adam has just told everybody in this chat. So there we are. Absolutely. Um, I think J-Doggy might be a troll. Yes, we'll check. I'm not a troll. I've met Scotty before, says Adam. Who's Robbie? I'm Robster, says Robster Mary. Sorry if I seem troll-like. No, Adam, that's all right. You're fine. We'll see how it goes. Yes, I was thinking that, Kareem. I think we should ban him, says J-Dog Gaming. We'll see how Adam behaves. Ban, 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 lol, says Kareem. Don't ban me, please. I'm real. All right, Adam. We'll leave you on just now. I mean, there is a difference from banning. We can always put somebody in timeout if they've just been a bit naughty. I think, Tam, Tam Peden, did you go on timeout one night? I can't remember. Uh, guys, I don't think you should call people out for being a troll. Leave it to the admins. Absolutely, Ian. Uh, do you want to hear a funny story about Daniel O'Donnell? I know Daniel. I was on a program with him. So there we are. No, I won't hear it just now, Tam. But thank you for offering. So there we are. Wonderful man. There we have a great chat with Daniel. Mm. And the lovely Barbara Dixon was on the program with me. You can still see it, I think. Uh, I'm not a puppet. I'm a real avatar, says Grady. Absolutely. Is that a mirage, Grady, or am I seeing things? Right. What's your opinion on the 100 gender scandal? I have nothing against it, but it's getting very confusing. Hello, Susan, says Fast Pat. Fast Pat, dinky-doo. If you're not fast, you're last. Uh, so there we are. Um, I think there's only two genders, but there might be variants. So there we are. But there are two actual genders, male and female. Scotty, I've tried to go to your YouTube channel. Most of the football songs, their hymns come from hymns and psalms. Yes, well, I suppose you've got um, the Jambos do, this is my story, this is my song, and when the saints and all that sort of stuff. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't have the hymns and the psalms. There we go. We just have to say, do you know that religion was so strong in Scotland in the 1930s that one of the most wonderful singing bodies ever, the Glasgow Orpheus Choir, conducted by the late Sir Hugh Roberton. He started the choir in 1900 and they disbanded 51 years later when he retired because the members said the Orpheus is HSR, U.S. Roberton, and HSR is the Orpheus. So they, and from it rose the Phoenix Choir. But I've met, knew them very well, members of the Orpheus Choir, because although they finished in 1951, and they were probably the finest choir in the world, only beaten in my view by the Toad Choir of Greenock, uh, and later the Scottish Philharmonic Singers under the wonderful baton, uh, under the baton of the wonderful Ian McCrory, who sadly passed away last year and is very much missed. And uh, the Glasgow Orpheus Choir, Hugh Roberton, it was all discipline. He had them out in the roof of the hotel in New York at five in the morning singing. And the sound is just outstanding. And he composed a song called All in the April Evening. And it's just beautiful. Three stark crosses between. 
Two stark crosses between three crosses, the cross, the cross of shame that Christ was crucified on. Anyway, Hugh S. Robertson was also a bit of a socialist. And the BBC banned the Glasgow Orpheus Choir from singing during the war. And the nation, the whole nation were up in arms because they needed to hear the Glasgow Orpheus Choir. You can look all this up. And they wrote to Churchill and Churchill said, well, I don't see why being a socialist should make a man sing flat. And said, yes, let the Glasgow Office Choir sing again. And you'll hear them, I think you'll hear them in Going My Way. They sang at Harry Lauder's funeral. Um, and their old Scottish psalms are just outstanding. Now, I wish we could play them on here. Now, uh, what I can tell you is that on a Wednesday evening, because it wasn't the Sabbath, they sang the Cat Sam. Oh! And the Cat Sam was putting different words, non-religious words, to the Sam tune. Because common meter Sams, you can sing all sorts of tunes. I'm sorry, yes you can, you can sing all sorts of tunes. Ban Kareem for life, says Thomas Peter. Harsh, Thomas. <laughs> Even if Scotty, how's it hanging this evening? Hear about the horrible incident in Glasgow today, J Dog, I have. Yes, and uh, the police aren't looking for anyone else, and they've ruled out terrorism, so I believe. Hello, Wally. Hope you're well. So there we are. Yes, Wally. Wally Logan, good evening, Scotty. How's it hanging this evening? Wally Logan, lovely to have you with us. So there we are, ban Kareem for life. That's a joke, by the way, Kareem. Uh, is that lemon hooch you're drinking? No, David, that's just water. So there we are. <coughs> Do you know that when I arrived in Dublin from Dunleary, I went into the hotel, it was late on a Saturday night, and I said, could we book in? And the guy said, I don't have a single room in the place, sir. I've got a big wedding on. Now, if you'd gone anywhere else, they'd have said, sorry, and you'd have had to walk out. This chap said, just give me a minute. And he phones another hotel. He said, are you selling any rooms tonight? I said, yes. He said, very nice couple. Send them round. <coughs> and that was it. There you are. And that was it. Now, is that not fabulous? Is that a request, Tom? Says Kareem. <laughs> J Dog was such a shame. That happened absolutely dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. So unlike Glasgow. Um, hello, David Bro says Fast Pat. Hello, Fast Pat. Scotty, I never stop being you. You're great, says Tony. Absolutely. No, thank you, Tony. It's wonderful stuff. Scotty, never stop being you. I think you're great. No, I can't help being me. That's all you get. What you see is what you get. It's wonderful stuff. This is starting to sound like an all-girls middle school narrative, fellas. Tighten up, says Grady Beckel. This is starting to sound like an all-girls middle school narrative, fellas. Tighten up, <laughs> Grady. <laughs> he was walking off the stage one night and his lace was out. I said, Daniel, your lace is out. He replied, Thomas, thanks. It said in the box. You had to Taiwan. <laughs> All right, greedy buddy. You're good, Pat. You just got here. Fast, Pat. I could beat you in a race. Absolutely. Now, are you talking an egg and spoon race? Uh, how are you at the three-legged? There we are. <laughs> Adam says, more like slow, Pat. No, no, Grady. Been on since 8.15. Just been listening in this evening absolutely we had the most cracking show this morning i'll tell you just amazing who have we got here ian Kerr, dinky do come and join us everybody's coming over i'm tuned in on youtube tonight sir dinky do says thomas wonderful so there we are thomas we're watching you on there as well mcclue has got an eye in the world the kilt in scotland has seemed to lost its fashion in scotland i still wear mine when i go dancing so there we are. I'm a patriot. There we are. The kilt is very much in fashion, dare I say. 
Uh, Bruce and a part-timer, away you go. Ah, well, don't think I was meaning you are well out of line, please. No, he's fast pat, even though he's late to the stream. Of course not, Grady, says fast pat. Wow, pat, way to take a joke, lol. Guys, no carry on or I'll put the periods out and time out for five minutes. Do you wear one, Scotty? Very much so. David Lamont, yes, yes, I wear the kilt. Big style. Sorry, Adam, mate. Scotty McClure was the chieftain of the Bears Den and Mogai Highland Games. Fully guilty. If you go on to Scotty McClure's website, so www. You've got all that. scotty com. That's the website. wwwscotty com. Go to the photographs, and therefore you will see Scotty McClure in his kilt. Sorry, Adam, mate, just having a down day, taking everything personally. Fast Pat. Fast Pat, stay well, says Kareem with a kiss. Okay, Fast Pat, you win, says J Dog, top man. Sorry about Pat, mate. No, no, don't worry about that. So there we are. Uh, Fast Pat's already been back from the future twice, says Grady. He has, absolutely. Been round the world. Craigo, hope you're okay, Pat. Absolutely. See everybody looking after you, Pat. See what a wonderful stream this is. Thanks, Kareem and J-Dog. What lovely people you are, says the lovely Fast Pat. Wonderful to have you with us. Adam, no harm done. I took <coughs> a joke to heart when I didn't have to. I'm good. Thank you, everyone. Fast Pat's okay. He just had a moment. He had a, a speed wobble. <laughs> no, not a speed wobble. Fast Pat, do you know what a speed wobble is? So there you are. Have you thought of opening an autonomous cab company? Says Grady Autonomous. Think it's a bit fast, Pat's cabs. <laughs> Think it's a bit disgraceful how people are speaking to each other. Punishments need to be handed out, Scotty. No, David, everything's fine. We've calmed it all down. Calm down, calm down. The wonderful Gordon Robertson. Hello, sorry I couldn't join in earlier. Gordon, I never ever pull anybody up for being late because you've been punished enough by missing a moment of McClure. Yes. Thomas Peden, good luck tomorrow on your maiden voyage around the world, says Nicky. Uh, you as well, young sir, says Nicky. Ian Kerr's watching. Dinky do, lovely to have you all with us. Live on Facebook Live and YouTube. Grady, what an idea. So there we are. Hashtag Cam Pat. We might put Cam Pat in our tweet tonight. There's not been any sharing tonight at all with you lot. Oh my goodness me, you've distracted my clue. Stop, I say. Right, there we are. Where is my little arrow? Oh my goodness me. Oh, oh. And we've been on for an hour and 15 minutes. It seems like two minutes. Rob's so good, thank you. How was your day? I'm dressing up as McClue for Halloween. Thomas, Halloween's the one night of the year McClue doesn't need to dress up. Well, there we go. Neither does the missus. Now, what have we got here? Oh, that's my message, not your stand before you start. <laughs> before you start. What has happened here? What's happened? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, lost you there. We're all back. Thank goodness. Excellent stuff. Uh, there we are. Like the hat, Scotty. Any history behind it? Oh, lots of history behind that. Buffering, Scotty. It's lagging, Scotty. And oh, Gordon, I am male, Patrick Bruce, after Bruce Street in Plains. So there we are. Wonderful. Excellent. A Plains man. I once did a plain man's guide. <coughs> You're a Plains man. Wonderful. We like that. Plains. Plains just outside here, Dre. All that. Anybody jump off at the cross? Oh. Right. Guys, I'm just putting out the uh, the sharing. So uh, we haven't shared a thing tonight. And a good audience, though. Can everybody share, please? So there we are. I don't know where that's come from. <laughs> I love this. This is something telling me how to live stream. I love it. <laughs> it's how to live stream your video. <laughs> we like that. 
Oh dear, oh dear. That was beautiful. Now, well, sorry, there's a bit of buffering there. Did anybody get the buffering? Buffer, buffer, buffer. YouTube gone, so scream. Back, back. Yes, we're back. Absolutely. Scotty, what's the clip tonight? Lagging again. Scotty, you're buffering. Oh, I'm buffering. Right, maybe what we might do... <coughs> I'm wondering if we're buffering. Yes. Just checking the temperature. Sharing's too much for the stream and the computer. Do you think so, David? Do you think we should calm everything down a bit? Absolutely. So, well, do you think we might have to say farewell to our um, to our double streaming? There we are. He's back. Fantastic. We're back. Dinky do. I think what we'll do then, guys, we'll say um, thanks very much for watching. It's absolutely wonderful on Facebook Live. We're going to pop onto YouTube now. Feel free to come and join us. www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one and to everybody on our wonderful Facebook see you all later and dinky doo